this is my first video with bright yellow highlighter bright hair and I thought in true alternative TM fashion I'd talk about my favourite shows that I've been to because I have a very boring life now I don't do much aside from music literally I was trying to work out hobbies for a video like a few months back and literally all I do is I go to college to do music I come home and I listen to music I make music I write music I perform music I learn music and I go to shows regarding music so why not talk about it because you know I'm a boring person aside from lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of music so let's go for it so I'm gonna do my top six shows so these shows are in an order and I'm gonna be doing it regarding not just the show itself I'm gonna be talking about my experiences the kind of fun I had the people I went with and just the overall experience because some people that made it on to the list aren't even no, who am I kidding? They're all my favourite artists. Also, my laptop's over there, so I'm looking at that. They're pretty much all my favourite artists, but the ones that you'd expect, I think, to be at the very top aren't. So, that's fun. So, number six is the Yumi at Six show I went to in 2017 in Plymouth for their Might People album tour, but I don't know what the tour was called. The reason why this is made it onto my top six is just because it was such a fun show. Like everyone I got back me and my friend Georgia queued for like a couple of hours, got barrier on Max's side because that's her fave. And we spent the entire show dancing and doing the Macarena and just having a damn good time. Um I completely forget which song it was, but she got like on my shoulders for one, which is funny because she's like five foot seven, five foot eight, and I'm four foot eleven. So, and Max just kept looking across. I was like, "Mate, you doing all right?" And I'm like, "I'm doing great." I will insert the video of her on my shoulders here if I can find it. So here's that. I think is the second Marion Strange show I ever went to and that was May last year in Bristol which was a great show. Basically I had seen them in the October before when they came to the UK for the first time and that was an amazing show but yeah the reason why this show made it onto the top five and not that one I was kind of siding between them both is because there was one song in particular that was played that I'm not really going to go into personal and cried like a baby because I didn't expect it to be on the set list and usually it isn't like ever maybe like once a year sometimes not even that so that was something and it was the song that kind of made me get into them and that meant the world to me and I spent the entire show beforehand Kind of not the entire show but we had a nice little chat me and my friend Tamara with three of the guys from the band and they they're just really nice people like generally if there's one thing I can say about Trench is that they are bloody nice people they're just kind and they're always willing and up for a chat they're just kind of there to hang about they're just four guys in it they're having a good time you're having a good time they play some music you listen to some music all oh, good fun. So my fourth, sh my fourth one is the first One Direction show I went to in Jesus. Would that have been twenty thirteen for the Take Me Home tour? Yeah, would have been twenty thirteen for the Take Me Home tour. I knew it was Take Me Home. What year it was? And the reason that is number four is because it was the first show that I've been to of an artist that I properly loved like I at that point 
um, now whereas I have a load of artists that I listen to and appreciate and love, all of that love was One Direction, literally just them. I loved them, I would have died for them, I mean I still would, but like quite literally when you think of the crazed 13 year old fangirl that just like cried constantly over them, hello, that was me. And it was the first time I'd seen them and I remember I made a massive poster to take with me and Liam waved at it because I was like the only poster in my area and like he waved at that and me so I was like yeah my boy and I cried like a baby at moments because that was like the first song that I properly loved and I think the only song I've listened to more than that now is Actors by All Time Low and I think still think that moments I've listened to around 3,000 times and not even like exaggerating. No, probably more because I know that when like I used to have my little iTunes play count on my old computer I'd listen to it like 2,500 and that was in like 2013. Shit. Shit, that's a lot of times. That's a lot of hours listening to so I'm not complaining. Yeah. So that's why I loved that one and I went with my mum and it was great. And the my third is my Harry show from last year at Hammersmith. And that isn't for the show itself because for wait okay, good I am recording. I forgot I didn't think I was recording the mic. But for the show itself, I do it isn't what I look for in a crowd. Like, as a performer, Harry is incredible. I will cow off. But, like, as a crowd, I look for, like, lively crowds, ones that I can, like, dance to and, like, move and, like, push a bit and have a good time. But for Harry's crowd, because it's mostly kind of my age demographic and, like, not kind of people that listen to my kind of general music, which is, like, the pop punk thing. Like, there isn't much, well there was a lot of pushing, but it was to the point where I couldn't fit my hands in my pockets kind of thing. There was no room to move. But the reason why I made it onto my top three is because of the camping. Like, I queued from a Thursday for a Sunday show. And it was incredible. Like, it was literally just hanging out under a bridge with like 200 people that you know have an interest that matches yours. And I made a lot of friends that week, a couple of which I'm still quite close with. And there are so many memories that I could fit into that week. And I've got like a vlog from it, I just haven't ever gotten around to editing it. And I kind of want to keep that for myself, for like my memories. But honestly, that show, just like the queuing experience was great. So that's why I love that one. Then my second show is, okay. They're two separate shows, but I'm lumping them into one because they were in the same place, so it's fine. Um, I'm not doing my two all-time low Cardiff shows. One was last year for whatever they called that tour, um, and one was this tour for the whatever they called this tour. I love them. Don't know what the tour was called. Oh wait, this was the Renegades Part Two tour. But. Basically, the reason why they both made it on is because for the first Cardiff show, um, I basically got pulled out of the crowd because I was like, dead. And then I kind of had my little moment with Jack and Alex, and that was nice. Because that was nice. It was great. It was fun. And then the second Cardiff show was because it was the first time I properly... I you know, the first one was like the first time I did a signing with them and ever had kind of any interaction with them was Cardiff the first time and then the second time was the first time I had meet and group to meet them and from someone that wholeheartedly has given their life to 